Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video uh, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a full day of eating 1500 calories and for anyone who watches my videos on a semi-regular basis I'm very sorry that I'm about to say these words because you're probably sick to death of hearing me say this but no these are not my actual calories no these are not the calories that I'm telling you you need to consume on a daily basis because everybody is different but instead this video is for the people that do have quite a low calorie goal and they are looking for ways to stay on track with this calorie goal whilst getting plenty of protein in their diet whilst enjoying some very tasty meals whilst getting plenty of volume in their diet whilst getting plenty of micronutrients in their diet and whilst being able to fit in a few treats along the way as well uh, so yeah I'm pretty much doing God's work that's all I'll say uh, but yeah, we have some unbelievable recipes coming up as always and I also have a little personal announcement uh, coming later in the video as well. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, I'm about to rock your world with this breakfast recipe. So I'm going to start by adding 150 ml of egg whites to a bowl. I get these from Bulk. I'm going to add in 25 grams of chopped up spinach leaves, one quarter of a chopped up mother an onion and you probably know that you can get loads of different types of onions brown onions white onions but try and get the uh, ones. They're the nicest. I'm gonna add in 50 grams of chopped tomatoes and 25 grams of 30% less fat cheese. Now let's give that a good mix. Then I'm gonna add 150 grams of turkey breast mince to another bowl and I'm gonna season with some sea salt, some chili powder, some garlic and a nice amount of smoked paprika. Now you want to mix it all up with your hands. Don't be afraid to get in there. Then you want to line six of these little muffin compartments with the turkey breast and just make sure that they fill the whole base by pressing the turkey down and of course I forgot to spray this tray with some one calorie spray why do I always do that but I'm gonna do it now anyway but when you're doing it just make sure that you spray before and then as evenly as you can you want to add your egg mix uh, to each compartment and then I'm gonna bake them in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius uh, for 30 minutes. Ow. Okay, so do these fit into the game changer category? Do they have game changer status? I think so. Like I've seen plenty of egg and egg white muffins in my time, but when you add the turkey, it's a whole new dimension. And I think what is really impressive is when you break the calories and macro down per muffin. So per muffin, there is about 58 calories and almost 10 grams of protein in one of those. And yeah, I completely understand that they do take like 30 minutes to bake in the oven. So you wouldn't want to be doing this every morning, but something you could do, do you hear that? It's so annoying. Okay. Okay, we're good. But yeah, something you could do is make like two batches or three batches at a time. So make 12 or 18 muffins and just spread them out uh, over the course of two or three days. Because yeah, they are definitely fine to keep in the fridge for that length of time. Oh, and I almost forgot the turkey egg muffin hot sauce combo is an absolute go. And you can use whatever hot sauce you like. I use Frank's, but you could use Nando's, you could use Sriracha whatever your go-to is. Okay, so before I go to my next meal, I wanna share some personal news with you guys. Um, and I'm gonna be teaming up with a Bulk, formerly known as Bulk Powders, for the foreseeable future anyway. Uh, and as you guys, I don't really like saying you guys, you guys, uh, but as you know, uh, I'm not really big on sponsorships or anything along those lines, like my online coaching, my nutrition hub, my YouTube channel, my shit. Like that is always uh, gonna be the biggest priority to me, uh, but, you know, I've always had a short list of companies that, you know, one day I would like to work with uh, because they just kind of line up with my values and what I'm all about. And Bulk has always been one of them. Uh, number one, because I've tried their products in the past. I really like their products. I like what they do. Uh, and number two, their range is absolutely ridiculous. Like, so big. So yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes. I hope you are pumped for me. If you are, make sure you comment below uh, and let me know. I already have a few favorite products and a few favorite flavors, uh, especially... Uh, 
but yeah, I don't want to overload you with information, so I will share all of that uh, in time. Uh, so yeah, let's go to my next meal. Okay, so for lunch, I'm going to be having a pizza, and no, it's not going to be a low-calorie pizza wrap. I've been there, I've done that, I've made my fair share uh, of pizza wraps. I'll probably do it again at some stage, but this time, this one is a little bit different. I'm actually kind of thinking outside the box with this. The box is here. I'm over there. Uh, but yeah, in my opinion, it's actually better as well. Uh, so let me show you. All right, so first things first, I've chopped up four bacon medallions, so 120 grams in total into little pieces. I'm gonna add them to a pan. And as they are cooking away, I'm gonna add 60 grams of tomato puree to a bowl. I'm gonna season with some sea salt, some oregano, some thyme as well. Let's mix it all together. Then I'm gonna get two of these little sandwich breads, or they're also called thins or slims, whatever you wanna call them. There's 96 calories in one. I'm gonna evenly spread my tomato sauce over each one. Then I'm gonna sprinkle on 30 grams of 30% less fat cheese. I'm gonna add my bacon medallion pieces. Then I'm just gonna add a few spinach leaves to the top. And just for reference, I'm using like less than 10 grams. Then I'm gonna pop these babies onto a Pyrex dish, something I should have done from the start, a rookie mistake. Uh, and I'm gonna let them cook away in the oven for five minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let's talk pros and cons. And the one main con, the one main drawback of this meal uh, is that it isn't that high in volume. So if you are quite hungry one day, there are probably better choices, higher volume choices, choices that maybe contain a lot more veg, so will fill you up a lot more. But yeah, apart from that, these little pizza bites, that's what I call them, pizza bites, they are unreal. Uh, each bite is honestly like a little bite of heaven. And what I really like about these is how versatile they are. So you can obviously have them for lunch one day. That's kind of the meal that they are. But they're also kind of meal that you could kind of turn around to a friend or a partner in the evening and say, I'm actually going to stick on uh, like four of those pizza bites. You want to split them all up two, you have two. That's the kind of vibe uh, I get off these. All right, so it is dinner time. All of my ingredients are uh, ready to go. And this is something whenever it is on the menu at a restaurant, I'm just like, yes. Like this is definitely uh, a bit of me. And when it comes to things like that, I always try and recreate like the macro friendly version at home. Uh, yeah, so let's see how we get on. All right, so first things first, I have four smoked bacon medallions here. Each one is 30 grams. And I'm going to roll them out just to make them a little a bit longer. Perfect. Then I'm gonna get four chicken breasts. Each one weighs about 150 grams. Spray everything with a bit of one calorie spray and coat with some sea salt and some smoked paprika. All right, now I'm gonna lay each of my medallions over each of my chicken breasts. Add each to a Pyrex dish that I sprayed with some one calorie spray. A little bit more smoked paprika for good measure. And myself and Bruno are gonna let them cook away in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes. All right, so let's get to work on the sauce and I'm gonna add 800 grams of chopped tomatoes to a pan. That is followed by 30 ml of Worcestershire sauce, about 15 ml of red wine vinegar and some seasoning. So some sea salt, some garlic and some smoked paprika. Let's mix it all around. And then you just wanna let it simmer away on a medium to high heat like so for 20 minutes. I think Bruno is a little bit in denial about how big he's getting. He used to like nestle into this little spot like so nicely. Uh, but yeah, I think you're getting a little bit big, little man. Okay, we are looking good so far. And now I'm gonna pour my sauce over the chicken. I'm gonna add 80 grams of 30% less fat cheese to the top. And then I'm just gonna put this baby back in the oven for about 10 minutes uh, so the cheese melts. Okay, so we have Hunter's chicken on the menu. This turned out unreal, and obviously it's a bit of a meal prep meal if you are 
and making four portions. Nobody needs to eat four chicken breasts in one go, I don't think. But yeah, if you wanted, you could just make one at a time. You could make two at a time, whatever. Just, you know, split the ingredients in half or in quarters or whatever you need to do. And just as a little recommendation as to what you could have this with, I would probably go with something along the lines of 200 grams of potatoes uh, and maybe 100 grams of broccoli. And yeah, if you are going with that meal, so one portion of this hunter's chicken, uh, 200 grams of potatoes, 100 grams of broccoli, I will display the calories and the protein uh, on screen for that now, just to be nice. So yeah, all in all, really calorie and macro friendly meal, and it's so easy just to kind of play it safe when it comes to chicken, be a little bit boring, be a little bit lazy, but when you make that little bit of an extra effort, it is just so worth it. We well, yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video up there, people. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll actually display my calories and protein uh, for the day on screen now, and as you can see, uh, I did not hit the 1,500 calorie goal. Of course, that was on purpose uh, because it's important that you give yourself that bit of flexibility on a daily basis to just set aside at least some calories uh, for something that you really enjoy. So for example, you could have something like a little treat between breakfast and lunch. You could have a little treat uh, before going to bed, literally whatever suits you. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you got some inspiration out of the meals that I made. Make sure you comment below and let me know which one was your favorite. Uh, so was it the turkey egg muffins? Was it the pizza bites? Uh, or was it the hunter's chicken? I'm always actually so interested to know what people enjoy. Uh, so yeah, do let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure uh, you give it a, a big thumbs up as well. Every single thumbs up. I say this all the time. I'm sorry if you've heard it before, but it does go a long, long way. Uh, so yeah, I would really, really appreciate it if you did. And yeah, that is that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all keeping well uh, and I will see you next week.